thought is if you don't fight for what you want then don't cry for what you lost good morning students welcome back i hope all of you are safe and fit at home studying well and completing your work on time this video is for the students of class 8 subject english and today in this video we are going to cover one chapter of textbook that is honeydew this is our chapter number 5 and the name of the chapter is the summit within this chapter is written by none other than the famous writer hps aluwalia this is my lecture number 2 of the same chapter this chapter is taken from honeydew book students today we shall read the main objectives key points and detailed explanation along with word meanings of this chapter after then we shall discuss the homework solution of the homework which was assigned you in lecture number 1 of chapter 5 that is the summit within let's see what are the objectives of this chapter number 1 to make the students learn to develop the ability to understand the difficult situations in their life number 2 to help them to cope with the problems of life number 3 to enable the students to share their personal experiences number 4 to sensitize the students to the feelings of an individual number 5 to enable them to use new words and phrases in their own language number 6 to enable them to express themselves in grammatically correct language so these were objectives So let's see what are the main key points of the chapter. It provides physical, emotional and spiritual experience. The climbers left some symbols to make their obeisance means respect. The author left on Everest a picture of Guru Nanak. Rawat left a picture of Goddess Durga. Pudorji left a relic of the Buddha. Relic means an object serving or surviving from an earlier edwin hillary had buried a cross there is another summit that is in your mind the physical act of climbing to the summit of mountain outside is akin akin means similar character to the act of climbing mountain within it teaches us much about ourselves gives us inspiration to face life's ordeals with determination so these are the main key points of the chapter so let's see what happened next in the story to know about it let's read the story in detail the physical conquest of a mountain is only one part of achievement here the meaning of conquest means winning over difficulties and reaching at the top is only one part of achievement or we can say process of achievement or conquering there is more to it than that it is followed by a sense of fulfillment there is the satisfaction of a deep urge to rise above one's surroundings it is the internal love for adventure in man the experience is not merely physical it is emotional and spiritual consider a typical climb towards the summit on the last heights means here the writer says that he has a strong urge to face challenges and overcome the obstacles also to him the joy of climbing mount Everest is too much as only a few can manage to do this. He adds here that climbing Everest is not just a physical achievement but also an emotional and spiritual experience. This success has brought him fame and also fulfillment. Or we can say not a physical climb alone. In fact, the difficulties of climbing Everest are huge, but this is what attracts him to it it is a challenge that he finds difficult 
to resist aluwalia says that the call to face the challenge of overcoming the obstacle was irresistible climbing everest is not just a physical achievement or conquest it brings fulfillment and fame besides the experience is emotional and spiritual also you are sharing a rope with another climber you are firm in firm in means make yourself firm you are companion companion means a person who spends lot of time with his friends while traveling keeps up with you you ask yourself is there no end he cuts the steps in the hard ice then he belays belays means fixes a rope and you inch your way up the climb is grim grim means very serious or unpleasant means he further says that this summit also is a lesson of championship two person share the same rope while climbing the mountain one climber needs to hold the rope firmly while the another one cuts the steps in the hard ice the second one then belay means fixes a rope and then the first one inches his way up means step up it is very difficult for a single man to think of climbing a mountain they need physical as well as the emotional support of their partners means we can say that comradeship climbing mountains also gives us lessons in comradeship means friendship he gives an example while climbing two persons have to share a rope one climber holds the rope firmly while the other climber cuts the steps in the hard ice then he belay means fixes the rope and the another climber inches his way up famous climbers have left records of the help given by others your strain ever nerve as you take every step here the meaning of strain is to put force with great effort famous climbers have left records of the help given by others they have also recorded how they needed just that help else they might have given up means here it is very difficult for a single man to think of climbing a mountain they need physical as well as the emotional support of their partners breathing is difficult your curse yourself for having let yourself in for this you wonder why you ever undertook the ascent here ascent means climb there are moment when you feel like going back but something in you doesn't let you give up the struggle and you go on means a single man cannot simply think of being a climber it is not only the physical difficulties which will deter him means discourage him the difficulties are emotional too in all those moments the comrades means fellow members draw inspiration from each other and there is something inside you which is in encouraging you to not stop and you are going on and you are going on means you are putting your step another or keeping your step forward your companion keeps up with you just another 50 feet or a 100 maybe you ask yourself is there no end you look at your companion and he looks at you you draw inspiration from each other and then without first being aware of it you are at the summit means your companion is always there with you as you climb and look at the distance left you feel as if there is no end you and your companion both look at each other in search of motivation and then suddenly without even realizing it at first you are already at the summit looking round from the summit you tell yourself that it was worthwhile other silvery peaks appear through the clouds 
If you are lucky, the sun may be on them. The surrounding peaks look like a jeweled necklace around the neck of your summit. Below you see vast valley sloping into the distance. It is an ennobling, means great, enriching experience to just look down from the summit of a mountain. You bow down and make your obeisance means make your obeisance means show your obedience or submission to whichever god you worship means famous climbers have left records of help without which they would have given up standing on the summit makes you realize that the struggle was worthwhile the view motivates you to rise above your current situations it provides a means of communication with god on the highest peak he explains how you bow down and make your submission to the god you worship or we can say coming down everest looking down from everest the climber feels that the effort was worthwhile it is an ennobling experience the climber bows down to god I left on Everest a picture of Guru Nanak. Rawat left a picture of Goddess Durga. Pudorchi left a relic of the Buddha. Edmund Hillary had buried a cross under a cane. Cane means a heap of rocks and stones or we can say a pile of stones in the snow. These are not symbols of conquest but of reverence. Reverence means deep respect. the experience of having climbed to summit changes you completely means ahuvalya left on everest a picture of guru nanak rawat left a picture of goddess durga pudorchi left a relic of the buddha edmund hillary had buried a cross under a cane means a pile of stones in the snow these are all symbols not of conquest but of reverence means deep respect so the experience or we can say the experience of being on the everest changes a man completely each man or each of us carries within himself his own mountain peak which is fearful and unscalable unscalable means not able to climb and yet we must climb it to reach to a fuller knowledge of self it cannot be climbed by anyone else you yourself have to do it means the summit within he also says that every person has within him his own mountain peak climbing this inner peak is also important as this climb will also change him He also adds that perhaps the internal summit is even higher than the Everest or each man has within him his own mountain peak it is fearful and unscalable means not able to climb yet no one else but that man has to do it himself means the man has to observe whatever the things are there inside him whatever the summit is there inside him no one could help him he has to or she has to help himself or herself the physical act of climbing to the summit of a mountain outside is again means similar character to the act of climbing the mountain within the effects of both the climbs are the same whether the mountain you climb is physical or emotional and spiritual the climb will certainly change you and teach you much about the world and about yourself means he further explains how physically climbing a mountain is similar to climbing the one within the effects of both climbs are also the same it changes you completely or it changes you completely irrespective of the nature of climb being physical emotional or spiritual it teaches 
you a lot about the world around you and the one inside you. I venture to think that my experience as an Everester has provided me with the inspiration to face life's ordeals resolutely. Here the meaning of venture means risky. Ordeals means painful experiences. Resolutely means with determination and firmness. Climbing the mountain was a worthwhile experience. The conquest of the internal summit is equally worthwhile. The internal summits are perhaps higher than Everest. Means, the author goes about thinking that his experience as an Everester has given him both the strength and inspiration to deal with life's painful experiences, with determination and firmness. Just like climbing Everest was a worthwhile experience. Conquering the summit within is equally worthwhile. Moreover, internal summits are higher than the physical summit of Everest. So at last, the lesson of this story is we can overcome any obstacles or situation in life if we have endurance, persistence and willpower. So this was a story shared by Aluwalia in his own words. Students, you have to complete your homework on the basis of the chapter explained by me. And your homework is read chapter 5 that is the summit within and write word meanings highlighted in the video. Based on the understanding of the chapter, write the answers of the questions mentioned in the book Honeydew as Page number 80, working with the text question number 1 and 2. Page number 81 and 82, working with the language question number 1 to 3. Students, you have to do working with the language in your book only. Still, many students are not having their books with them. So, here in this video, I have mentioned your homework in detail. So, let's see working with the text which is on page number 18. Question number 6 is what were the symbols of reverence left by members of the team on Everest? Question number seventh is, what according to the writer did his experience as an Everester teach him? Question number two is, write a sentence against each of the following statements. Your sentence should explain the statement. You can pick out sentences from the text and rewrite them. The first one has been done for you. Number one is, the experience changes you completely. Answer is, one who has been to the mountains is never the same again. Number two is, man takes delight in overcoming obstacles. Number third is, mountains are nature at its best. Number fourth is, the going was difficult but the after effects were satisfying. Number fifth is the physical conquest of a mountain is really a spiritual experience. Working with the language which is on page number 81 and 82. You have to do these two pages in your book only. Question number one is look at the italicized phrases and their meanings given in brackets. Number one is mountains are nature at its best, meaning is nature's best from an appearance. Number two is your life is at risk, meaning is in danger or you run the risk of losing your life. Number third is he was at his best, worst in the last meeting, meaning is it was his best or worst performance. Fill in the blanks in the following dialogues choosing suitable phrases from those given in the box. Phrases are at hand, at once, at all, at a low, ebb, at first sight. Number one, teacher, you were away from school without permission. Go to the principal dash and submit your explanation. People, yes madam, 
but would you help me write it first? Number two, Arun. Are you unwell? Ela. No, not. Dash. Why do you ask? Arun. If you were unwell, I would send you to my uncle. He is a doctor. Number third, Mary. Almost every Indian film has an episode of love. Dash. Dravid. Is that what makes them so popular in foreign countries? Number fourth is Asif. You look depressed. Why are you spritz dash today? Use such in the phrase. Ashok. I have to write 10 sentences using words that I never heard before. Number fifth. Sahiba. Your big moment is close. Dash. Jyoti, how should I welcome it? Sahiba, get up and receive the trophy. Number two question is, write the noun forms of the following words adding A-N-C-E-N-S or E-N-C-E-N-S to each. Words are number one, endure, means suffer patiently. Number two is persist. Number third is signify. Number fourth is confide. Confide means tell someone about a secret. Number fifth is maintain. Number six is abhor. Abhor means regards with disgust. Question number three part one is match words under A with their meanings under B. A. Remote means dominant, formidable, overwhelmed. B. Difficult to overcome, most prominent. B. Overcome, overpowered. Methods or method, far away from. Question number 3 part 2 is fill in the blanks in the sentences below with appropriate words from under A. A part. There were dash obstacles on the way but we reached our destination safely. B. We have no dash of finding out what happened there. C. Why he lives in a house dash from any town or village is more than I can tell. D. Dash by gratitude we bore to the speaker for his valuable advice. E. The old castle stands in a dash position above the sleepy town. Students, now in this video, we shall discuss the homework solution of the homework which was assigned to you in lecture number 1 of chapter 5, that is the summit within. We have already discussed about the author objectives, main key points and detailed explanation of the chapter along with word meanings in our previous video. As I assigned you homework which was to be done by you on the basis of your understanding and your homework was read chapter 5 that is the submit within and write word meanings highlighted in the video. Based on the understanding of the chapter, write the answers of the questions mentioned in the book Honeydew as. Page number 79, comprehension check question number 1 to 3. Page number 80, working with the text question number 1. And part 1 to 5. So now let's discuss the important word meanings of the chapter. Number 1 is summit, means the highest point. Number 2 is surged, means arose suddenly and instantly. Number three is panorama, means view of a wide area. Number four is jubilant, means very happy because of success. Number fifth is tinge, means shade. Number six is communion, means state or the sharing or exchanging of thoughts and feelings. Number seventh is mystical, means spiritual. Number eight is aloofness, means quality. Number 9th is ruggedness, means wrinkled and roughly broken. So these were the main 
word meanings of the chapter so now let's discuss the questions and answers in detail comprehension check which is on page number 79 question number 1 is standing on everest the writer was number 1 overjoyed number 2 very sad number 3 jubilant and sad choose the right item the answer of the question is option number 3 that is jubilant and sad question number 2 is the emotion that gripped him was one of number 1 victory over hurdles number 2 humility and a sense of smallness number 3 greatness and self importance number 4 joy of discovery choose the right item the answer of the question is option number 2 that is humility and a sense of smallness question number 3 is the summit of the mind refers to number 1 great intellectual achievements number 2 the process of maturing mentally and spiritually number 3 overcoming personal ambition for common welfare number 4 living in the world of thoughts and imagination number 5 the triumph of mind over worldly pleasures for a noble cause number 6 a fuller knowledge of oneself mark the item not relevant answer is number 4 a fuller knowledge of oneself So now let's discuss the question answers of working with the text which is on page number 18. Question number 1 is answer the following questions. Part 1. What are the three qualities that played a major role in the author's climb? The answer of the question is the three qualities that ensured the success of the author were endurance persistence and will power number 2 why is adventure which is risky also pleasurable the answer of the question is mountain climbing is a great adventure but is also risky it is a great challenge and a doing challenging job is in itself pleasurable it gives events means great joy to the doers doers means person who is doing some action or something question number 4 is what does it about mount everest that the author found irresistible the answer of the question is mount everest attracted the author because it is the highest the mightiest and has defied many previous attempts it takes the last ounce of one's energy question number 4 is what does not do it means climb a high peak for fame alone what does one do it for really the answer of the question is conquering means overcome summit is a great physical achievement but more than that it gives the climber the emotional and spiritual satisfaction it satisfies man's eternal love for adventure number 5th is he becomes conscious in a special manner of his own smallness in this large universe this awareness defines an emotion mentioned in the first paragraph which is the emotion the answer of the question is that emotion is humility humility means the quality of having a modest so this is the end of the lecture Students if you like our videos please hit on the like button and don't forget to subscribe our channel thank you and have a nice day